Hey everyone, it's Sean from Sean's DIY and Reviews and I just got my new bicycle from Bikes Direct. And it's right here. I've been waiting quite some time for it. Um, obviously because of coronavirus, we're into the new year. So this is a 2021 bicycle. I'm not gonna belabor the details. We're just gonna open it up, take a look at it. Um, they were supposed to come, they were supposed to ship at the end of July and it shipped a couple days ago. We're now on August 20th. so. I don't think it's their fault, not gonna blame them for that. There was delays in the shipments and that's been happening. So let's open this box up, take a look at what's inside. There's a little assembly required, so I'll show you how that works too. Here we go. All right, so here's the box. It looks like the staples were a little bit removed already when it was delivered, but that's okay. I'm gonna open the box anyway. Flip that down, came via FedEx. Flip this down, and there it is. I went with the bright yellow. Here's the wheels. The other wheel is not attached. It's right over here on the side. There's the handlebar not attached. Here's the forks, the brakes, disc brakes, front and back, and a couple other things here. So I'm just gonna pull this all out of the box and show you how I'm gonna set this up. All right, so this is the bike outside of the box. All I did was grab everything and put it here on this blue tarp. I didn't wanna scratch it up, so as I set the bike up, I wanted it out here. Obviously, the seat is right up there, and the handlebars are kind of attached right here. The front wheel is not attached, it's sitting right next to it, and it also has everything on there. It looks like the pedals as well I have to put on. So it tells you right on the box the things that you need to assemble it. So here are the tools you'll need, a flat and Phillips screwdriver, uh, open-ended wrenches or adjustable wrench, and also you need an Allen wrench. Okay, in setting this up, the first thing I'm gonna do is leave all the uh, little styrofoam and cover up on there. My little guy helped a little bit, already helped, right? So the things I'll have to do is attach the handlebars on here, I'll need to put the front wheel on, which I'll do once I do the handlebars in the seat. I'll need to put the seat on, and then I'll also need to put the two pedals on, which didn't come on there. The front fork holder, I forgot the name of that. I'm gonna start by putting the handlebars on, so I'm gonna take these four bolts off. Now you wanna make sure that you tighten these evenly on the top and bottom, not too much pressure on one side versus the other. Just make sure that it's evenly snug on all four. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the seat on here so that I can flip the bike upside down and put the front wheel on. So I'll go ahead and flip that over now. It's just obviously easy to do the seat. Just open this up, drop it on there, and that's the seat. Perfectly fine, nothing special. All right, so now I'm gonna take these little caps off of either side of the front tire. All right, so I pulled the two little plastic caps off of each side of the tire. I'm gonna take my little tire skewer, open it up, leave one spring on one side, drop my tire in the frame here, make sure I get in my brake, and then fit my tire into the slot. Now I'll put this through. Same thing on the other side. On the right there. I'll tighten this down. All right, so now both of my tires are on. And now I have the pedals, and these pedals are made by Union. I don't know if I've heard of it, but I don't know anything about a bike. So um, you're gonna need to put them on, and it says to tighten them, torque them to 3.5 Newton meters right there. Um, and then basically it tells you how to install and turn the pedal. So let me go ahead and do that here.
First, I'm just hand tightening them. And there's a nice amount of space here, which is good because I can get in there easily with an adjustable wrench, I think. And I'm not gonna be able to torque them because I don't have the right thing to torque them. But I'll go ahead and adjust them with my adjustable wrench, which is fitting in there just fine. Now I'll put the other pedal on. This one's gonna go counterclockwise. And I'll tighten that down too if you can if you can do this to the torque that it says, I recommend doing that. Uh, I don't have a torque device to do this. Now I put the bike upright on the two wheels and pedals on, has a kickstand. Some people don't like kickstands, but I, I'm curious, why don't you like kickstand? This one's pretty nice, holds the bike up, so I'm ready to go on that. And what I'll do now is I need to lock down the steering. So the wheel's obviously not in the right spot. So I'll go ahead and make sure my forks are facing the proper way, facing outward. And then I'm gonna adjust my steering accordingly. These two Allen keys right here will hold that in place once I have it perfectly aligned. Final, the final two steps in the process are gonna be to put on these reflectors on the front and back. And then the only other thing is to pump up the tires and take it for a spin. Now before you, when you're done with everything, just make sure you check over every component. And so I noticed what I found was the thing that holds the brake in place in the front was loose. So it's important to check every component and make sure that everything's solid before you before you take off. Back brake was already down tight, but the front one was not. Check out all the cables, your brakes, your shifters, everything before you go crazy and make sure everything's working. And that's it.